Vegas, same time as SoCal. So definitely tell you right now, this 1051 in Vegas, probably 100 degrees in Vegas. I don't know what the weather is like in Vegas. Definitely rooting for Yoshi over Wi-Fi Zelda. Ooh, that's a rough one for me. <laughs> I'm, I'm rooting for Zelda. I'm rooting for Ben. That's just me. Yeah, Ben is not a Wi-Fi Zelda. He's not. I think that's a little bit different than him. He does not run away. He plays very aggressive. He's a little more aggressive than most Wi-Fi Zeldas. He's not even a Wi-Fi Zelda at the same, same time, so... A really weird, like, thing. Ben has been playing since Brawl. He's also a Brawl vet. Him and Ape Man. Definitely two all his Brawl veterans. Ready? Yeah, I think Yoshi's pretty good on Wi Fi. I don't think he picks a nerf. Best Wi Fi player in SoCal? Ooh, that's rough. Mm, might ha Ooh, that's tough, actually. I really don't know who to tell you. Maybe Gaming High, just because he's one of those players that, like, before he, be he got his name, like, he was going, like, 2-2, 3-2 at locals, and now he's like, oh yeah, I'm Gaming High, beware of me. I I'm not gonna say... I'm not gonna tell you he's the best Wi-Fi SoCal player, but I'm gonna tell you he's definitely one of those players that definitely have come up. I don't know who to tell you he's the best Wi-Fi SoCal player. I really don't know. I think Robert was a better pick than the Yoshi for Zelda. Yeah, I agree. I, but at the same time, I think Yoshi would have been a better pick. Yeah, I have to agree with that score. You see it in Ben. If he doesn't, he really like looked like he's waiting here, but his aggression is all in calculation. Knowing what to cover moves and how to cover landings and use Knight as an assist tool. Look at that, he, see what I'm saying? Like, he's like, okay, I'm here, no, no, never mind, I'm gonna roll. Knight covers me on my roll, Knight covers me on the hit. Therefore, I can do that. That was a good name result, just because it's a reflector. It's all intangible. Fortunately, can still have grab that, I don't think we shield it. Someone DQ in Grands says the third place get to play out back in Grands? Ooh, depends. That's, that's a hard one. It depends on the situation of DQ. Yeah, that's the one thing that, that Rob has over Zelda in this situation is that as we saw earlier between Ben and Ape Ben in the winner's side, Laser does go to Unite. So it's all about them to kind of like be cautiously optimistic with that. Oh, that was a really good tech roll read. Mmm, that was too much for downer. That was way too much for downer. Good on, good on the neighbor's level. So the intangible multi hitbox, reflector, all in one. Nice anti air up smash here. Rob loves to land on you. Downer, watch the reaction. Nice. Oh, not the sweet spot though, that was the good. Now our Rob's pick the same, that is very true. Score is currently 0-0 zero, zero pocket. <laughs> no updates to the score, I'm sorry. The Ven is on the winner's side. Forward smash, good coverage. I'm telling you, he plays very calculated. If he throws out Knight, it's with not without purpose, it is with all the purpose. As a result, I mean, should. He never, he never plays. Yeah, he's way too aggressive. Telling you. You want to roll? Get hit by knight. You want to jump? Get hit by knight. If you want to, you want a shield? Get pressured by knight. You want to get up attack? Knight covers you. <laughs> yeah, Ven has taken a game on MKLA offline. I'm telling you, he is one of. Vegas is no slouch of a region. Like, just because you don't see Vegas at every major or every regional, doesn't mean they're slept on. Then, Grandmaster, Foe, 
We also have what's the ditty? God, I'm forgetting a Dakpo. MVD? Are you kidding me? Vegas is stacked. He is not a masher, no. <laughs> and did take a look in the game five. Thank you so much. That's not good for the Wi-Fi Zelda pocket. <laughs> Without showing bias, who are you rooting for as a commentator? Hmm, I'm rooting for Ven. No bias. No bias, but Jay Mafia has like my have a soft spot for him. He's doing really well. He's doing really well. Jay Mafia's doing really well. So I have to admit, I am rooting for Ven. I love watching Vegas play. I love watching Vegas play. But gotta admit, got a little bit of a soft spot for Jay Mafia. He's doing really good. So the still back character, people have no match. I think Zelda's fine. I think Zelda's a little bit more of a higher mid-tier. I really don't know where to put him. I really don't know where to put him. No, MVD isn't from Vegas, but he moved to Vegas. He was living in Oklahoma, and then he moved to Vegas. He lives with Bear. Reflecting being more paid. I think that's one thing you, you can also do. The one thing about Ben is if he uses Nero's love, he uses it aggressively rather than defensively. And then, well, it's not per se true. He uses it to something like that, scenarios like that. Like, he'll use it if it's Gyro, but he won't use it much for Blazer. I haven't really seen him use it to work Blazer, but he's also not afraid to use it because of the like so. Where he's able to do enough damage because it's a multi hit, and Zelda's intangible. One thing for J Mafia that I'm not sure if he knows. Rob, Rob, uh, the, the, the rotor, the robo arms, that reaction reflects night. <laughs> so that's up to J-Mafia to see when he can actually pull that out against Zelda Knight and then play more aggressively with that. Because that could be a really tough spot for Zelda. Neutral Beat does kind of get rough, rough on. You always want to reflect the gyro just because Rob will have a hard time picking it up too. Oh, that was gonna, that was gonna win. Didn't tech roll, just kind of moved in place. Nice, wait for the low. I like that, wait for the low. He's still surviving. Nice for the coverage on the neutral. Good. You have to be careful. Ben is never scared when he's off stage. <laughs> I was saying, Zelda's neutral B is just as good as a. I wouldn't say it was as good, but it's, it's like Palu. It's like Palu go for back air. The damage, the knockback, intangibility. Come on, I would not do that. Gotta use your character strengths. Especially when you have a lot of evident weaknesses. Nice. That was good. So for the night here, that was good too. Calls out, calls out the high recovery. Go on, J Mafia to kind of slowly stall that time with laser. Watch, watch it. Still good, still good. Great DI, great DI, great DI. J Mafia has stage control. I love the gyro play here. I would have Z-Jump the gyro just to see how the little react to that option without the left setup like that. Remember last time Smash is really good. That was rough. If... I respect it from Ben. If, if J Mafia would have gone for an issues option, that would have been super... Super, super bad. He would have would lost his there. That was good on Ben. Dash back. If your opponent's gonna throw out a neutral area like that, forward smash is a last in your box. Yo, <laughs> dude, No! He hit him on, on the, the salary spot and he fell out. That's. that. that hurts. Oh no! Lag! No, 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 no! <sighs> That hurts. I like how Ben just paid a little bit of to see how J Mafia was going to react to the block. Shut up, that, that's, that shows signs of a competitor right here. Game 
No tech. No tech. No tech. Team Mafia takes it. One one in peace. Rob carries players. I feel like Rob carries, but that's just my bias. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. He's the... Okay, guys, so we got some lag. I'm gonna go ahead and talk to them in chat. I'm gonna go ahead and see. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and talk to them in chat. Let me see what's up. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and give him a lag check just to see what's gonna go on. I'm gonna keep you guys updated here. Um, yeah, I just want to give you guys. A, we're gonna go ahead and give him a lag check. I'll host in the room and see what happens here. Just wanted to update you guys. So yeah, they're gonna go ahead and be, uh, they're gonna reset up a room for J Mafia. And then we're gonna go ahead and see where that goes from there. Step into the ring! And play inside the steel bunker. He says, so "Holy with no line adapter." No, I know then. He he has a line adapter. Isn't there phone hotspot? <laughs> You'd be surprised. Some phone hotspots are actually better than other people's Wi-Fi. Before I upgraded my Wi-Fi, my phone hotspot was better than my Wi-Fi. I'm telling you guys that right now. You'd be surprised. Trust me, you'd be surprised. I used to have like 50 megabits per second Wi-Fi and then I finally upgraded to like 500 and it's way better but my phone Wi-Fi was much better than my, than my 50 megabits, it's weird. So, <laughs> I'm just telling you guys, be surprised. I was even on Dice 4, I was even on Ethernet once, and my cell phone connection was even stronger. Or as strong. It was really as strong. 
All right, so we're currently testing. We're in the middle of the testing phase, so I'm gonna quickly give you guys updated. Doing button checks. Is there a different stream to watch on? Not currently. We're trying to see if the problem is with the new room right now. I guess we, okay. Uh, Warchief is putting up the stream, so I'm guessing we found a way. It mm, seems to be working fine. There's just delay, distance delay. There's no stutters anymore. Okay. Okay, yeah. So there was just a distance delay. No, still no more stuttering here in terms of Wi Fi. And they are now going to play it out. Yeah, that was kind of a lag test. We wanted to see if there were, if it was causing the stuttering problems in terms of uh, lag spikes. Well, lag stutter is what we call it, I guess. So there's just the distance delay. And they are now playing it up after the break. Think of this with game one. Throw. No, that was good. That was good. He wanted a combo off the guy throw. I respect it. Couldn't couldn't get the conversion like the tech in the platform. This is the first time I've seen Ben hold the gyro. I would hold the DI. The DI from Ben really would have a spot to be in right now, Carly. He's fine with the, with the teleport recovery. Yep, and he gets the punish. Ben's fire? Nice. He would have caught him in that situation super close. Put up air. Still able to recover. Holds the shield. Good stuff from Ben. Very patient, but still good stuff from G Mafia. Doing enough pressure. Oh, talk about oh no, in the middle of the gyro toss. I talked about it earlier. I'm surprised I haven't seen G Mafia go for Robo Arms on the night, especially when there's distance between Ben and J Mafia, just because it reflects it back. Well, we haven't really seen a situation where J-Mafia gets an opportunity to breathe and then go for Robo Arms to stop me. Usually when Ven does it, it's usually within a certain distance that he can punish J-Mafia, like so. In this case, J-Mafia was enough to use, you know, laser. Didn't really see a good opportunity to the General Arms the night. Just more just go laser because it goes through night. Which is also probably why he hasn't robo arms the knight as much, just because you can just laser through it and it's okay. And you still had Zelda, which is objectively even better. There's the Fowler's win. Really tough spot because he was able to whiff the grab here and then gets the punish. Well, Zelda doesn't say anything when she finishes, she just grunts. Up tilt? Nice, into the neutral special. Tombstone Pile Driver? No platform extension, so no staff there. Careful, nice. It sets up night. I like it because if J Mafia would have tried to overextend with a platform or go back towards center stage, the night was gonna come in. Yeah, our community is correct. She is very much like Link. They are just friends. Zelda has not had a voice since until Breath of the Wild. This is J Mafia's opportunity here. 70, good pressure. Laser, forcing the low recovery here. Yep. Then a let go at the wrong time. And I think Ben wanted to let go so he could try to find his way back towards center stage. And unfortunately, that was the wrong time to do it, so J Mafia was able to get the back air. Clean play. Well, this back air is really good. Good dot back. It's, it's like, I feel like it's low key safe on shield just because it pushes Rob. <laughs> 
and yeah, I do think if I actually think about that now, um, pack a sixty-four. I think Ven did try to parry. That did not shield poke at all. Nah, he, it's either it's either he let go of shield or he tried to parry. But I, I I think I was gonna say I think he just let go of shield because he wanted to jump out of the, out of this advantage. Yeah, if he tried parrying, that's, that's interesting. Trying to parry on Wi-Fi is hard. That's why you, if you think tech teching on Wi-Fi is hard, try parrying on Wi-Fi. That's really difficult. Cleaner than something clean. Uh, probably simple and clean by Itaru. What's her name? Utara Hikari. I can't, I can't, I can't say her name. Sparkle was born on Wi-Fi. That kid is a whole different breed. Let's make him parry. He did not see an offline tournament until he could speak. From back air, man, I'm telling you, that's, that's ridiculous again. This reflector finally gets the opportunity here. J Mafia looking to reset the bracket. Ven looking to finally fight here. Gets the forward air and the sweet spot. Ven with even stocks. That's up Knight trying to fight from disadvantage. Tough spot to be in though. We've seen how J Mafia has been able to catch Ven off the ledge. And I think that should give Ven a little bit of a reason. Just try to find ways to get out of it as soon as possible. Or like he did earlier, use up Knight to try to buy himself some time. Nice jump here, able to go over. The laser, the grab. This is a back air, yep. That was, that was a good night. Stops Gyro, hits 86%, then with advantage here. What more could he ask for? Trying to read? Nice. Plus, G Mafia with good opportunity to throw out some pressure tiles. I think that's why we saw them go for uh, Nehru's love just to rip up them. Doesn't want to deal with them. Gotcha, Chuck. Sets up Knight here. This is going to be a tough spot for G. Yeah, this is tough for G Mafia. And even tougher for Ven. He's such on a rough spot. 67%. I was gonna say if he did, if he got into a touch screen, it would be scary. Can he cover the high? Yeah. He caught and he caught him, because if he went for the jump, the swing from the knight was gonna kill him. People seem to forget the knight has a sword swing that catches jumps. And if he tried to jump forward, then Zelda can catch him from that. Good neighbors left. He did not want to get hit by anything from that. Telling you, he is never afraid to pay aggressive. Oh, he didn't get the sweet, he did the sweet spot. He fell out of it. That's unfortunate. Shield pressure, not enough. Good down tilt into dash time. Great opportunity for him to mix things up. He tried to get him from the high. That was good. This is a fourth throw. Gins fire. Wait, oh, that was good from G Mafia. I like that. Do not want to take the Zins fire, but it doesn't matter because Knight swings the sword. Gins fire almost gets the mark here. Sets up the Knight here. Goes for an offstage play. He misses it narrowly. G Mafia with a back. He is still fighting with purpose, but it doesn't matter. Then finally gets the forest smash. Gets the game. Puts us in game five. No time to waste. Going into game five here, Ven versus J Mafia. This is for all the marbles. This is either the reset or the final game of the night here, guys. Four throw quarter, nice. I have to say, it's pretty good. Corner carry situation here. Set it to Rob Rob Arms to kill the stock for any leads. This man is not afraid to just chuck Zelda off the stage, Jesus. He's like, I want the reset today, not tomorrow, not next week. I want it right now. I'm not afraid of throwing it off the stage. Oh, he fell out by the grace of... I have no idea what, but by the grace of everything, but he fell out of no bar. That was the stock. This man cheated. Good on them to use Nehru's love offstage, get some tangibility so it doesn't have to worry about Rob, but unfortunately that forward smash does not catch the neutral get up. 
nice, sweet spot. That's such a great mix up too, because it looked like it was gonna hit you up, but at the last second pulls it back forward air. What kind of pressure from this man? He just wanted to grab. Up to up tilt into jab. Reflector, nice. Sets up Knight. I like the fact that Ben is using Knight to cover the gyro so that J Mafia can not get anything off the gyro immediately. Nice. He's able to still recover just because of the way of Power Zone works. Sets up Knight, can he cover the high? I like that opportunity. He was good. He was good on that. I liked it. He missed it, but it was still good. Two over Zealous. I respect it though. There was an opportunity for him to actually hit him out of shield. Hold fire. Fortunately, you get caught in some end like after the executing that move. This is a back row. Yep. Not it just yet. Gives fire up for the setup here, and that's the stock. Then with a clean play. Ah, that's a sequence here. I love it from J Mafia. Good up smash. He wanted to see if he could catch him in there, and he does. This is even game, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know. This is this is a bare knuckle brawl. Nice. That was good. Look at look at the coverage the Ven has. He covers the entire stage before some J Moth to go for a high recovery, and Ven was there with the upper to meet him for it. I'm telling you, he is aggressive. Ven, ladies and gentlemen, is your MSM number 19 winner. 18? 18, I was supposed to. I went up or whatever. Then, from Vegas, all the way from Vegas, is your MSM 18 winner, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up for one of Vegas's finest. Super shout outs to James.